Hi, I'm Holly from Holly Wade Wellness. Thanks for hopping on and joining today. Your body is amazing. And if you think about it, it's always trying to communicate to you. I mean, you can ask yourself this question. You've been taught a lot of subjects in your lifetime. Math, science, reading, language arts. But do you really know and understand this? I find it fascinating that we learn about all these subjects and the most important one, how much do you actually know about? Or do you know it? Do you understand it? Do you trust it? Let me go a little bit deeper. Like, do you understand what those basic signals are that it's telling you? Let's just talk about those a little bit. Do you know how to discern hunger from thirst? Usually we're thirsty and we'll, ch we'll misinterpret that signal as hunger. Or do you pay attention when your body says it's tired rather, you know, and actually go take a nap or rest a little bit? Or do you push through? So your body's always giving you signs about something. So those are physical or physiological signs, right? Physical signs about what's going on. What about emotional? That mind-body connection will lead you to something. So close your eyes for a moment. Let's do a little activity together. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a couple deep breaths and feel your belly expand and soften with each inhale and exhale. It's going to change shapes as you breathe. And let your shoulders drop down. Separate the back teeth and soften your fingers. And notice how it feels when you are relaxed. Because we usually can't discern the difference between feeling tension unless we understand feeling relaxation. I'm just going to ask you a question. As you go to the movie screen at the front of your mind, right behind your forehead, play out a scenario that stresses you out right now. Maybe it's something at work, maybe it's something at home, maybe it's finances, maybe it's a relationship. Then know, notice where you feel tight in your body. Take a little mental note. Once again, take a couple deep breaths, unclench your jaw, relax those shoulders, allow relaxation to come back in, and then blink your eyes open. So let's just talk about that a little bit. So our thoughts create tension in our body, or stress actually is the bigger deal. Stress is what's actually creating tension in the body. And when you understand what is creating that tension, you can find your answer. So did you know that tightness in the neck and shoulders, outside of things like being at your computer for too long or driving for too long, you can do those things that I just shared with you when you notice tension from that. Or if you're seated and it's your low back, if you've been sitting for a long time, you can get up and stretch, right? Emotional tension in those neck and in the neck and shoulders is generally from carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders or trying to protect your heart. Tension in the low back is often associated with not having your basic needs met or not feeling supported. So as an example, most Americans are stressed out financially. Most Americans miss work because of low back issues. I think those two might be tied together. Or maybe it's a relationship where you don't feel supported and it's giving you a clue to support yourself, to stand in your own strength and power. 
what might that look like for you? If it showed up in your belly as anxiousness, it felt like a little bit of spinning. And that is generally that we don't like being out of control. There's fear about the future because we can't predict the future. We have no control over the future. So that spinning is about bringing your power back into the now and being present. Or it might be that you're sad and depressed. That's neck and shoulders again, and get. Those three relate. If you're curious to explore your answers a little bit further, I would be happy to get on a 30 minute call with you because I guarantee we can come up with a solution and I can walk you through so that you feel really comfortable and confident with a practical action step. I'm not gonna do, ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself or that's really, really weird. It might be uncomfortable because we need to stretch you out of your comfort zone because what you're doing isn't working. So it might be uncomfortable right now because it's a muscle that you haven't flexed in a while, if at all, right? And anytime we're developing a new skill or a new habit, we're gonna feel uncomfortable for a little bit. You felt uncomfortable the first time you took a few steps. You felt out of balance. And eventually you learned how to walk. It's no different. So let's get you on a 30 minute call. Email me at holly at hollywadewellness.com or click the link below in the comments. Thanks and have a wonderful rest of your day.